The Information Builders Accelerator for Supply Chain, Visual Warehouse, provides executives and managers with pre-built metrics and analysis to monitor and optimize warehouse operations. Leveraging the Visual Warehouse Accelerator provides a jumpstart to extend and personalize these capabilities using the full power of the Information Builders Analytics platform. Offering a single pane of glass into the warehouse, the example on the screen highlights how a leading wholesale distributor dynamically monitors physical warehouse space to enable more efficient inventory management and distribution processes. Over 400 warehouse employees manage a constant flow of hundreds of products arriving and leaving the warehouse facility, providing near real-time visualization of active and reserve stock Operations teams can reduce the time and costs associated with order fulfillment while ensuring quality of existing inventory over time. The accelerator helps line up the distributor's goals at a management and executive level, which result in the ability to make faster, more informed business decisions. Let's get started by taking a closer look at the first page in this accelerator, Warehouse Metrics. Since warehouse operations are in constant motion, Warehouse managers and executives require continuous updates throughout the day. By selecting a value from the date time drop-down list in the upper left corner, warehouse managers can get a view of their operations at any point in time. Like this distributor, many supply chains maintain multiple warehouses across multiple buildings and locations. Using the corresponding warehouse and building drop-down lists, users are also able to view warehouse data by location and facility helping managers better isolate areas of opportunity or improvement. A simple click allows you to look at refined data and analytics based on the selected criteria. Navigating along the top row offers three key performance indicators, or KPIs, that provide insight into the reserve locations across the entire warehouse. These KPIs can help to improve picking efficiency and reduce warehouse handling costs by providing analytics that can be used to optimize product locations and balance facility workload. Total Reserve Locations This KPI quickly shows the total number of storage locations based on total warehouse capacity. It only changes if physical space is added or racking is implemented to divide the space. Note that for each KPI, you can carousel through the different areas within the warehouse and view the corresponding data. Commingled Reserve Locations This KPI helps you understand when locations have been divided to improve productivity. Multiple items, each on different pallets, may be stored in one location, which slows order fulfillment or inventory replenishment. Watching the value of this KPI is very important to a director of the facility in order to react and improve overall warehouse performance. Empty Reserve Locations This KPI shows you the amount of empty reserve locations that are available. This metric allows for automated, near-real-time visibility into open capacity, ultimately allowing for better warehouse utilization. Moving below the critical KPIs are several interactive charts all simple and easily understood graph types with drill-down capabilities for executives and managers to dig deeper into warehouse performance without the need for ad hoc analysis and report generation. The middle row consists of the following charts. Reserve locations. This chart is a follow-up to the total reserve locations KPI directly above and shows which locations are currently occupied and which are available. If a total pallet count is greater than the total number of locations, this indicates commingling of products. You can drill down on either type of location, occupied or available, to view further details as a highly interactive analytics report type called InDocuments Analytics. Total Items Slotted This chart shows the total number of items slotted by slot size category. Color and size attributes provide a visual indicator of the types of locations in the warehouse and the number of items in each category. Drilling down on any slot size category provides a detailed breakdown of products in that specific area of the warehouse, including average movement per week, to help maintain visibility into the popularity of the product. Available pick slots. This chart helps answer the key question asked by inventory managers in all warehouses, where do we have availability? From this chart, you can drill down to the available pick locations of a selected area by aisle. 
In a future version of this accelerator, you'll be able to drill down from this chart directly to the resulting locations shown on a visual warehouse map. The following charts are available along the bottom row. Pick slot sizes. This chart shows how many pick slot sizes are available by slot size description. You can drill down to a visual map of the warehouse, which is colored by those slot size descriptions. We'll explore the visual warehouse map shortly. Items slotted by area. The primary value shown in this chart is a number that does not change frequently on a daily basis. To ensure efficient operations, an inventory manager watches this number closely for any sudden increases. Hundreds of new items may be brought in per week, and as a result, this number could jump quickly. Just like the other charts on this page, you can also drill down to view further details as an in-document analytics report. Slotted Items Movement this chart observes the movement of slotted items. Starting from the left, the 0 to 1 vertical bar indicates slow moving items. This allows warehouse managers to better allocate fast selling items to premium slots, improving picking performance and controlling labor costs. Once again, drilling down exposes underlying data. Let's continue exploring by navigating to the second page in this accelerator, Visual Warehouse. It can be difficult to get a true sense of what's happening in a warehouse with charts and graphs alone. Information Builder's Visual Warehouse provides insight based on something everyone is familiar with and can relate to, the physical layout of the warehouse. Darker colors on the Visual Warehouse map indicate higher product movement, which may indicate the need to relocate these products to a premium slot that can optimize the picking process efficiency. Clicking on a location will bring up a detailed visual of the selected location on the right side of the page above the legend. You can then mouse over to see the corresponding attributes or drill down for more detail. In our demo scenario, forklifts enter this warehouse building from the left and start loading there. As a result, you'll see darker colors on the left side of the visual warehouse map, which indicates the location of heavier items. Since forklifts exit on the right, Lighter items are located on this side of the warehouse floor. Darker colors on the right indicate heavy items, which should be relocated to ensure product quality isn't compromised. Heavier items being stacked on lighter items could cause damage. In this case, darker colors on the visual warehouse map indicate larger slot sizes. This may help you decide where new products can be stored as they arrive. Finally, you've reached the third page in this accelerator, Info App. This info app enables anyone with the proper security privileges the ability to create ad hoc or on-the-fly reports containing any of the warehouse data being sourced by the Visual Warehouse Accelerator. You can select dynamic dimensions, measures, and filters from the accordion containers on the left and select the desired output format, HTML, in-document analytics, PDF, or Excel from the top. No additional training is required to create these reports where hundreds if not thousands of different reports can be generated from this single Visual Warehouse Info app. For example, you may want to see, by warehouse, building, and area, all location measures across all warehouse facilities. Or you may want to look at the movement and detailed item data for all locations to see the velocity of product movement. Consider these reports as an extension to the dashboard on your warehouse metrics page providing the ability to focus on a specific area of interest in your warehouse or a combination of data points that's unique to your current analysis objective. Providing these additional insights and reports extend the dashboard capabilities and help you get to the data that you need to make better business decisions. The Information Builders Accelerator for Supply Chain Visual Warehouse provides a powerful summary with a detailed and visual perspective that helps improve overall efficiencies and discover new ways to continuously improve your warehouse operations. Contact Information Builders to explore the Visual Warehouse Accelerator and learn more about how our data management platform can dramatically improve your supply chain performance. <laughs>